the outdoor of Manchester United is strong and there the sticky fingerprint show quite how are left in such a power vacuum where your first choice goalkeeper is announcing his own departure on his social media feeds is as yet unclear but he will, uh, we will always beg them to manage no club announcement no send off no warm goodbye simply are probably written down contract over on one of the greatest players of your modern era sleeping out of a side door David G leaving Manchester United is the right decision for both by hook or crook he turns 33 in November he has of a late starter down for from a great goalkeeper to a goalkeeper who makes a great saves but the errors became more frequent more highly profile and more slapstick the problem of his distribution and general discomfort with ball at a feet was amplified with the demands of every 10 hack if Ante Onana is needed if Ante Onana is indeed the GS replacement it's hard to conceive consistent of two more different goalkeeper at the highest level still United should high should be shining themselves for allowing the GF to live without the transfer fee the acquisition is the that this club during the Glazers tenure were perennially reactive rather than proactive that may now be slightly out of date but their goalkeeping situation has been an aging elephant in the boardroom for the last 18 months if the GA wasn't going to sign a new contact on reduced terms the time to sell was last summer he might even have become that rare Manchester United beast a player bought and then sold at profit the GA legacy and his share length of tenure demands that we inspect it it was a complicated one on an individual level he was undoubtedly one of the United's, United's greatest goalkeepers and certainly is the one of the most appearances he arrived as a squarney goal gangly 20 years old who looked a title a little dude eyed and awkward 